up guys and welcome back I'm here in another showroom here uh, to see the new Vogue 525X uh, adventure motorcycle the newly released 2024 one so let's go and do a quick walk around of this bike and see what's new and uh, try to appreciate what we have here so I'm just gonna start here from the front overall it's not a big departure from the previous version uh, a lot of the features and aesthetics have been maintained with a few the changes that I'll mention in this video so we start here from the front as usual just like the previous one um, this is a blacked out version so far this is the only version out on the market um, they're saying that there will be other at least one other color coming out later but if we look at this we have twin brake disc in front and uh, ABS of, of course bikes these days all come with ABS and you have some nice Nissan brake calipers on both discs in the front and you have a long travel suspension um, this bike just dropped in the shop they don't really have the figures now but there's an extension in the suspension travel the fork travel in the front part of the bike so that's gonna give some more cushioning when you're off-roading and they still retain the fog lights that are integrated in the in the bike so if you look really really nicely tucked away and very solid as well looks very very solid and the front part has mainly remained the same so no major changes there but looking at the headlamps it looks so mean this has also been retained I thought that with this upgrade they would maybe try to put a camera here but it's just still um, a space that is provided for you the end user or the buyer to install the camera if you want you can just put this lid off and install the camera and we're moving on to the windshield so the windshield is just like on many other bikes well this is kind of like a lab tested windshield i like i always say um i think in the real world it's not going to do a good job well you can only tell when you ride it but from the look of it unless you are on the shorter side you're still going to have a lot of wind buffeting so my guess is if you get this bike you're going to change it anyway so let's move on to let's stay on the windshield so with the windshield you can actually move it you can adjust it higher and lower so you push it down to adjust like so right and then you pull it up to adjust it upwards and then you have some decals here which just simply says Vogue the previous one didn't really have that and the design language is basically the same as the previous one this year there is a bigger or a wider uh, guard to protect the fairings uh, and the bike in general when you do crash or if you do crash because nobody really wants to crash right now uh, let's look at some information here so the maximum weight I'm sure it's dry weight is 216 kilograms and uh, this bike was made in 20 24 April so it's brand it's a brand new bike coming down here you have the engine and you have your gear lever which is very has a really nice travel and a really solid feel to it really really nice and a, a wide foot peg for your feet and these are rubberized and you can take them off by undoing these screws uh, that would be a bit of a a pain to take off whilst you're off-roading but the option is there if you need to take it off you can actually take it off and on the whole on from this side it kind of looks like the looking here just looks like that on the Honda CB500X and new for this year they've installed a very tough yeah a very tough feeling engine guard to protect the base of the engine and you got a really nice frame running down here and yeah so that's the side of the bike with the engine and if we look at up here we've got some really nice hand guards here to protect your hands from the vagaries of the weather you got your clutch lever which feels soft almost as soft as that of the honda cb500x 
I'll come to the dash area very soon. So if we move on to the back, you get some nice foot pegs, metal foot pegs for the rear passenger. Very, very tactile. That's really good. And I kind of like the screws that they're using, kind of like what you have on BMW bikes, very solid looking. These are not easily stripped ones. So kudos to Vogue. And if we move on to the side, you have a key area where you can open your and take off your seats. And you have a mud guard for your chain. Um, it's not very solid, but all it does is, is protect you or the chain, protects you from the chain. So yeah, I think it will do the job just fine. You have really nice frame here and you get your chain very tough beefy looking chain and if you look in here something that the cb500 doesn't have there is this plastic protection uh of the suspension so you're not going to have grime and mud hitting your suspension which is going to keep it cleaner for the longest period of time and if we keep going to the back you got a mad guard here you got a rear carrier here or a rack here where you can install your uh, top box and it has provision for installing the side boxes as well so this comes stock on the bike from factory and if we go down here you have your rear brake lights and down here you have your turn signals retained LEDs you have your number light here you have your reflector and a provision for installing your number plate and I like this rubber pointed rubber here which is stop your number plate from wobbling so when you install the number plate it sits on it and prevents it from wobbling about and on this in the on the rear tire I have some really smooth running nice beefy adventure road style tire which comes from Metzler uh, let's just take a look at the size of the tire so it's Mesler Torrance. It's a 150 70 rim 17 on the back. So it's a 150 tire. That on the Honda CB500X is a 160. So this is a bit smaller. Moving on to the right side, you have the exhaust twin outlets covered by this very nice aluminum sort of mesh design with some sort of carbon fiber here and with aluminum in the middle and then if we look at the braking department we got one brake disc of course on the back ABS as well and you have another Nissan brake caliper you have your ABS and speed detection cables running there and I like what some brands do with the inflation so you can see that it's pointed to the side. What it means is inflating the tire is going to be a lot easier because sometimes you have these inflators that are really long and very rigid tubes and it's difficult to, because this space is small, it's difficult to angle it properly so you can inflate the tires. But when they angle it like this, the valve like this is way easier to, to, to inflate the tires. You got your frame running here and that's your exhaust running from there all the way up to the side overall really really nicely made so lx 500 y as you can see right there now if we go to the right side what do we have here so we have your rear brake brake rear brake fluid tank right here kind of exposed but i'm sure it's going to be safe and you get your foot peg very nice solid brake feel and i like how it feels it's kind of like a soft feeling but it is made of very solid metal you have the right side of your engine protected with this rubber and uh, you get a really soft clutch so when i engage the clutch yeah has a good feel to it and this is the housing on the right hand side looking really really nice and beefy the bike looks much bigger than a 500 cc bike uh, because of all the fairings but that's how it is nowadays the fairings make it look really tough 
but most of it is at the end of the day just plastics and if we move on the side on the right front side you have turn signals of course leds all around so that's about it for the external or the aesthetics of the bike now let's start from the seat so we have of course the pannier seat and the rider seat this is the low seat version and there's a higher seat version of uh, 20 millimeters higher uh, 20, 800 millimeters ish I'm told so you can choose this low seat option or you can choose a high seat option and you got a really nice tank design really really slopey I don't know what's going to happen when it rains because then water is just going to run directly a very fast speed to your pants but if you have waterproof pants it should be fine but I like how it's a bit raised over the seat itself so water is not going to seep through into the seat area and you have your fuel cap it's not the nicest feeling it wobbles a little bit but it does the job the purpose of it is just to close but it's not as solid as other ones feel and if we look at the left hand side of course like i mentioned you have your hand guards you have your grips very nice size i like how it will fit in even smaller hands because it's, it's not that thick and you have your clutch lever which is quite soft almost like that of the cb 500x and you have your high beam indicator high beam low beam and you have your flash to pass and you have traction control button here i'm sure to control traction control you have abs button here you can press it on and off to switch your abs on and off and this is your enter they have a really nice feel to them but i won't say they have the most satisfying feeling to them when you press them and you have these arrow seven as navigation buttons and you have a, a mode button here unfortunately this bike just arrived i'm lucky to chance on it here so they don't even have a battery in, they don't even have a battery installed on it yet so it's hard to um i can't turn on the screen because there's no power and you also have on the right side as usual from as, as many other bikes you have a hazard light which surprisingly has a, a better feel to it than the function buttons because you rarely use this one so i would think that these ones will rather have better feel to them but hey as long as it works so that's the hazard button engine on and off button you have a dedicated headlamp button so i believe if it's on the off position then it's just daytime running lights and if you need to turn on your headlamps you turn it on from here you get your ignition start stop design is very very similar to that on my honda cb500x and then you have your accelerator your throttle here it's not electronic i can feel and you can hear the clicking sound so it's a uh, it's wired it's cabled which is not bad i mean the cable is more reliable anyways and you have a very nice size um, brake fluid reservoir right there and as you can see your ignition but unfortunately there's no power so even if when i flip it nothing happens but i'm, sh I'm i believe the screen is not so different from what was in the previous year and as usually like most other bikes you you'd be given a 12 volt socket for inflating your tire and for other purposes and you also have a one type a usb port here for charging your devices which should be enough i believe if one usb is not enough there are these adapters 12 volt socket adapters that connect 12 volt socket to your usb that you can push in there and you have multi multiple charging ports and you get the suspend the front forks here so they are adjustable on both sides for preload and rebound but you will need a screwdriver to do it so turn it right hardens and anti-clockwise softens so yeah that is what is happening in the front part of the bike overall it's a very basic design but 
works really well so let's talk about pricing so here in china this bike goes for 31,000 rmb or chinese yuan which is about 4,300 us dollars so it's a budget price for anyone who doesn't have the money for a legacy brand like a honda or suzuki or whatever if it's close to you or you're interested in this bike find a dealership close to you go take a look at it and you might just like it you never know so once again thank you so much for watching guys i'm truly grateful if you are new to this channel do me a favor smash the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video and share the video so others can have a benefit of enjoying and seeing what is out there on the motorcycle market all right guys so thank you so much for watching till i see you in the next video right legal right safe peace and i'm out